So good morning everyone. I want to show you uh, how you can actually edit the short code for the Add for Us Team for Us Classified Team because I got a lot of uh, requests on how to modify the short code layouts, the team customization, and others. So today I would like to share with you how we can um, change the search uh, bar here. So search the search bar arrangement so basically this is the okay this is the wordpress admin so we are looking into the peanuts classified homepage so the front end uh, search bar is like this where we have the categories here and this is the search and this is the location so basically, if you are using the custom location, the drop down will be look like this. So we want to swap over the location of the this one, the drop down, the select drop down to this uh, categories, and the search bar will the search box will be the third columns on third columns. So the first column will be location, and then goes to categories, and then go to the search box so first uh, we need to check on the folders we go to the folders the team folder INC go to the team shortcodes because we need to find the visual basic shortcode for the modern search which is used in this uh, page this is the search modem short codes we need to find these files and edit it since this teams doesn't provide any uh, child team modification so that we can easily copy the template but uh, we have to directly edit the template file from the teams original folder because the team doesn't support any uh, files override using chart team so we go to the this is the short code folders where you can find here team short code short codes and then go to the modern to search modern so here is I already made a backup of the search modern and the actual the actual file is here so we go to edit Then scroll down to the bottom because we didn't do any changes on the top function everything the script so we just need to change the layout of the columns so this is this going to be the bottom part is going to be the list of the columns the search box here the three column here first second and third column here including the search button so you want to swap over this is the location goes to the first column and category go to the second column and then the finally the search box goes to the third column so we go back to the search this is the the, the current uh, HTML code for the arrangement of the search box so this is the first column currently is the category and the second is the autocomplete for the search box and the third one this one is the location uh, select so we simply swap this over this one the this five lines of code from the list to the close list text and the apply filters so we cut and move it to the beginning of the ul here and then we paste it here so the arrangement is now the first is the location and then the second is the uh, category and the third is the search box so if we save changes and then we refresh the front page now this is the location already swapped to the first column 
and then the second is category and this is the search box now we have a uh, some problem this is the location because but it shows select an option we need to make it as shows as the placeholder like select location or select a location select your place something like that because this one the element is using select to add select to drop down so basically it will when we do search on the select an option here this one is uh, basically the select an option text inherit the select to label on the footer PHP files but we didn't want to change this we want we just want to change it for the select element this one the search element only so that it won't affect other drop down label for the on other forms or sub, uh, add submit form so we just we need to edit uh, the short code files uh, a bit more so we scroll to the a bit to the top and here we can see the location type html so basically this one this functions will represent the this one the location type uh, search drop down so since the drop down is using the select element this is the select javascript for the form control so for select we need to add in the placeholder data so that because this one is currently not functioning the the option level is does not function because by right it should show select location once we select uh, we are using the custom uh, location but it it doesn't display on the front end it's display select an option instead inherit from the select to uh, library so here we need to override to add in the data placeholder just for this uh, search element so here is the data placeholder you can google this on internet for select to data placeholder or select to placeholder you can find this uh, short codes and we copy this and we put it in the select tag so we just paste it here and the select location you can simply replace with your own text or your own placeholder like select a location select location or select get a place pick a place something like that and then the rest we just uh, leave it just leave it like that because this one is not not actually working for the custom location so we save and then we check in the front end again previously it show select and look uh, an option for the placeholder so we refresh and now it's already changed to select location which is a uh, more proper for a location drop down previously it's just uh, a general select an option for the general drop down uh, placeholder so now the search bar looks uh, more user friendly where user can simply select their location and category and then only they put in their search terms so that's all for today uh, if you like uh, this video please subscribe and press the bell ring for further notification because uh, we are going to make another vi video on this at forest team for more team customization and also other teams as well thank you for watching